So you have never played Hearthstone. I have not. I'm going to quickly explain to you what Hearthstone is compared to Magic. Okay. So that you understand how Hearthstone works. So unlike Magic, uh, basically the way it works is I do my turn and then you do your turn. You cannot interact with me while I am doing my turn. So you want wow. to basically make the best one. <laughs> so basically you want to make the best possible turn and then I'm going to do my turn and then it goes back and forth until your hero is dead. Your hero has 30 life. And the way you build a deck in Hearthstone is you pick a class and you can only use cards from that class as well as the neutral card pool. And unless you're adding a certain card, which is very irrelevant for this, you can only you have to have 30 cards into your deck. Um, there are two copies of anything but a legendary card. You can only have one copy of a legendary card in your deck. I think that's pretty much it. I think everything else will be pretty self-explanatory for the most part. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, yeah, I I have I have one. Is the hero myself or like who's the hero? You are well, okay. You're you are the hero. Like I okay. guess you're the okay. Uh, um, I I try to remember how it works in Magic. Magic, you have a hero too, right? And it has a certain amount of life. And then if your hero goes to zero, you lose the game. Well, yeah, the hero is me. If <laughs> I'm, it's just no, <laughs> you could have like an avatar that like makes you look like Liliana or whatever. But I'm not Liliana. <laughs> Yeah. So you are you are the hero then, I guess. You okay. Be the, okay. Be okay. The That's that was my question. Okay. I didn't know sure. if like the hero was like a like kind of I don't know if, you know like planeswalkers if that was like a person separate from you. No. Or no. No. It's not like that. No. 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 Okay. Like you are the hero. Theoretically speaking, like your hero plays the cards and you are the hero. So like yeah, yeah there's not a planeswalker or anything. There's not like a, a like another entity in the game. It's just two heroes. Unlike Magic. Uh, this is probably this is a really important thing. Good thing I remember this. Unlike magic, you have to get mana from your deck. You naturally get one mana per turn in Hearthstone. Um, you don't have to draw them from your deck. You don't obviously you don't have to tap your mana either. It's just your card costs mana. You if you have the mana, you can play it. What and is it like to live the absolute life of a <laughs> god? My it's pretty, lord. It's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. <sighs> You may, again, I don't know what cards you have seen because maybe like you're in the card game realm. So maybe when Hearthstone was extremely popular, you might have seen a couple of these cards. Uh, so I'm just going to describe very briefly what a Hearthstone card looks like. So the one in the top left is the mana cost. So this card is one mana. Okay. The the bottom left one is the attack. So this card has one attack. The health is one uh, health, the, the right. And then the demon pirate tag is basically what tribe it is from. I don't know if magic has tags, but like, um, I think it does actually. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, the, yeah, it does. And then the text in the middle is what the card will do. OK. And if there's a specific keyword, I will say it uh, and we'll get to that with the very next card. But this is a legendary card as well. This is a legendary. This <laughs> this is this, a legendary. <laughs> <laughs> so we have patches the pirate uh, for one mana or crystal or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know what attack <laughs> and one defense. Yes. Uh, one health. One health. One health. Okay, one health, and it's a demon pirate. And after you play a pirate, summon this minion from your deck. So you get to play a pirate and create this little one one who yes. is apparently a legendary and very important. Yeah, <laughs> I was. <Am> I? I... <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, in Magic, I have I could play a common that can get me a one one. Uh, that is fine. Is the demon pirate on it relevant? Is his name being Patches a huge thing? <laughs> If it's a legendary, that does not mean that it is more important than a common card. What? Wait, okay. <laughs> common cards can be as powerful as legendary cards. I'll just put it like that. Uh, usually if it's a legendary card, it just means that the effect is so unique that they don't want it to happen multiple times in a game. That's generally what it comes down to. All right, sorry, back to the analysis of Patch of the Pirate here. Yeah, there, I mean, what can I say? He's the, he's just a little guy. I mean, uh, what are, what is the rating system I'm giving him? Like out of 10, out of like- Zero, zero to five works, zero to 10, whatever you feel like. Just probably just keep it consistent throughout yeah, this video. Okay, we'll go zero out of zero out of five. I'm gonna give Patch of the Pirate. Uh, I feel you're laughing and you're dying. I feel like he's probably more important than I'm making him out to be. I'm going to give him, I'm from, okay. I should say like, I, so I only play limited from a right. limited standpoint. I'm going to, I'm, it's just fine. I'm going to give it like a two. <laughs> so, uh, for I, I should, just in case people don't know, limited is like the arena of Hearthstone. Like people will understand what that is. And I'm sure magic people will know what limited is. This card is actually really good. Um, <laughs> okay. 
So the reason this card is so good is because in Hearthstone, you only have 30, you get 30 cards into your deck. If you could have 29 cards into your deck, you would do that 100% of the time because consistency is really important in Hearthstone. And I'm sure it is in Magic. It may not seem like it, but having an extra one mana one one that you don't actually have to pay one mana for and just draw that card and put it into the field um, is really, really good in Hearthstone. What? Okay. All right. I will take your word for it. <laughs> It's, it, may I, not, it may not like, so it's really funny i did a video recently which was like what is the best card in hearthstone best legendary card in hearthstone and people were so surprised that i was like putting this near the top because it's like it's just a one minute one one what are you talking about so but even it, people in hearthstone are questioning yes, your, your yes. love for patches the pirate okay <laughs> listen i am right. objective all right it's just a good card that's, that's, that's fine you know you like you like you like him he's, he's all right he's just a little guy you know there's <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, that's I mean, listen, I was going easy on you with the first one. I was oh, seeing it. Oh crap. All right, so, great. <laughs> Damn it. I, I was just joking. I think that your I think that your assessment is astute and I was just I was just joshing you. Yeah, I think for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. It's no worries, no worries. You'll get this one for sure. Now I have to explain okay. the keyword here. So battle cry is when this minion is played. I don't know what the magic equivalent, I mean, no, there is a magic equivalent of like a battle cry. Um, I just can't remember what it's actually called. When this, but, when something is played, it's called like a, enter the battlefield effect. ETB. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So when this card is played, this effect happens. Okay, so I don't know how to pronounce anything ever. I'm going to try Lotheb. I'm just like you. Lotheb? Lotheb, yes. Lotheb. Lotheb is a five mana. I'm going to keep calling it mana. I'm sorry. Five mana, five, five for five. Uh, enemy spells cost five more next turn. That's really great. That's excellent, isn't it? Uh, is it? To, like a five mana five five that makes my opponent already so already at its base like when you look at a card for limited you just want to look at it for like it's like at minimum it's power toughness for its uh cmc um which is now changed to mana value but i refuse to say mana value so it's a five five for five which is already great and fine and it just has an upside so to me this card is like a like a like a four out of five Honestly, perfect analysis. This card okay. is a four out of five. This card is very good. You're right. Yeah. It, the five out of five five stat line is just good. And then it has a really good effect on top of it. Enemy spells costing five more next turn is really, really good. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. This, this card also came out in, I think, like 2014. Like, so really early on in Hearthstone. Um, and this card is still played because that effect is just absolutely insane. How, um, how old is Hearthstone? Hearthstone will be turning official, like the game will be officially out for 10 years next year, but it oh has been God. out for 10 years if you lose closed beta. Yeah, if we're, I'm get, we're getting old. Wow. So, oh, no, you guys are babies. We just had our 30th anniversary. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, my God. So you got Lothab right. Yep. I would give you like one to one on the score here. We're going to okay. move on to a different card. So okay. this one is not a legendary. So you can put two of these into your deck. So we have the hipster. Uh, two mana, one, three. Uh, for battle cry, discover a spell so, from your opponent's class that isn't in their deck. Discover is when you play this card, you'll be given three cards to pick from, and you can pick one to add to your hand. I like that. I like that a lot. I like it. So I'm a big fan of like games within games, uh, like Atris, like things like that in Magic. Uh, so I mean, a two mana one three is not incredibly exciting, but I like the I like the idea of maybe getting a very good spell off of it or it could it could be a, it could be a fucking whiff i don't know but like <laughs> I, I, it could it could whiff but I, I like the prospect of maybe getting something good i think i would rate this like like a 3.5 out of five so it's it's tough here because i think so like in the harson equivalent arena i think that's a pretty good guess 100 percent. okay because uh, in arena because you don't get to build your deck Mm -hmm. uh, you get to pick the cards. Having a, an ability to discover a spell that's not in your opponent's deck generally means that the card quality will be a lot better because your opponent doesn't get to put the, put the cards in their deck. In standard, the regular format, this card's probably significantly worse because often your opponent's going to put good spells into their deck. Okay, um, but but from my from, from my limited outlook, yes, this was a yes. good. Okay, see that's what I'm looking at it as. I don't know the standard nonsense. <laughs> from a limited aspect, like if that card was in Magic, like I would play that card. I don't know how it would work with the class part, but I'm sure we can make it work. Back to a spicier card here. Okay. Again, this is a legendary card. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Sergeant Sally, three mana, one one. Death Rattle, deal damage equal to this minion's attack to all enemy minions. Is Death Rattle, and it's an undead, is Death Rattle Death Touch? 
Death Touch is if this creature, like if my 1-1 one, one with Death Touch touches your 10-10, your 10-10 is going to die because no. I have the touch of death. So, <laughs> oh, then what it's, is Death Rattle? <laughs> death Rattle is when this minion dies. Um, th that the equivalent of Death Touch in Hearthstone would be poisonous. That would if I my minion has poisonous and I hit a 10-10, then that 1010 is dead no matter what my stats are. This okay. is when this minion dies. So when this three mana one one dies, it deals damage equal to this minion's attack to all. So when it dies, it deals one damage to the board. Yes, in its okay. current state. Yes, a three mana one one. I, I that see that to me is very like. See, I like things like, so I, again, you said there's poison. Are there cards to give, are there cards in Hearthstone to, oh wait, you can, no, you have instance. You just can't do it on your opponent's turn. So everything is like a sorcery. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. I understand that. I swear okay. I understand that. Can, you, can I give, can I give Sergeant Sally um, poison? Uh, So Hearthstone is like, they're all instance unless it's like a very specific spell. Okay. You could, I think, I'm trying to think if you, you could, you could give it to her. Yes, you could. If I could give Sergeant Sally poison, then this card is, I mean, like pretty great, right? I feel, I mean, is maybe, this, I mean, <laughs> is what, I mean, I live for one demon. I don't, how big are minions? That's just the things that you've shown me so far. Are fucking one threes and five fives, like is what, and we have fucking Patches Pete Pirate over there that is apparently <laughs> great and is a one one. So I guess he dies. I feel like if you, I can give it poison, it's good, but otherwise, Maybe it's not. So I give it like a, like a, like a, like a two point five. Okay, <laughs> first and foremost, great reaction to that. Uh, Hearthstone minions are pretty equivalent to magic, I would say, uh, for the mana cost. Obviously, the more mana a, a minion costs, like the better the stats will be on this minion. Now, two point five for this card is probably like a little bit too high. This card kind of sucks. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, it does seem kind of sucky. My rating is if I could give it poison. It on its yeah. own is like a one. So I could be, I'm not sure how the interaction works. Uh, generally speaking, if you get, like there are other cards, if you give it poison, it would clear the entire board guaranteed. Mm -hmm. But because I think this minion dies first and then deals the attack, I don't know if it actually procs the poisonous. I could be wrong on that one. But regardless, even with that, even if that interaction works, this card never really saw any play. Uh, okay. It turns out that this card is way too slow. And this card's a three minute one one. And if you have to have an additional resource to make this card at least playable, that probably means this card is bad. Okay, here is a very spicy one for you. I don't know if there's anything like this in magic. Okay. <laughs> Temporis, uh, seven mana, six, six dragon battle cry. Your opponent takes two turns, then you take two turns. Is so, Okay, go clear, ahead. I'll, I'll clarify for you just so. So what happens is you play this card for seven mana. Uh, most of the time it's gonna take up your entire turn. Your opponent then gets to take one turn, use all of their mana, draw a card. They can attack with their minions and then they get to take another turn after. So they get all of their mana back. They draw another card and their minions can attack again. And then it's your turn. To, you get two turns after with the same idea. No, wait, no, that's, I mean, is that all? Like, do I, like, it's a seven mana, so it's a seven mana six six, which is cool, I guess, and battle cry, but I don't want to give my opponent two turns. That would, no, I give this card, uh, uh, I give this card a one. Like, stats, I think it's fine, but why would I, like, that seems so bad. Uh, it, is, ahead, it is really right? bad. It is okay. really bad. Okay, yeah, I, it's, oh, I was like, what the hell are y'all doing over there? This is a good card, like, what the fuck? No, it is. I think in Hearthstone terms, at least for legendaries, this is probably like top three worst cards they've ever printed in the game. That makes uh, so much sense because what yes. the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, it's it's really bad. Like you never want to give your opponent two turns and I guarantee it's the same thing in Magic. If you give your opponent two turns, you probably lost the game. Yeah. Okay, here is another really spicy one for you. So um, most of the time, these cards are probably like rated in a vacuum. This one, you might have to think a little bit bigger just because of the text of this card, but this is a very popular card in Hearthstone. I had to include it. Okay, all right. Shutter walk. Uh, yes. Oh, what a face a mother could love. It's a nine <laughs> mana, six, six. So this is towards the end because you only get, you get like 10. You said you, you're capped at 10 yes. mana. So this is yeah, very yeah. late in the game. So ETB, repeat all other battle cries from cards you played this game. Targets chosen randomly. So, okay, I'll, so I have a couple, go, go ahead. I have a couple questions if you don't answer them now though. Okay, so I'll just basically explain how this card works. So every time you play a battle cry, this would be stored inside of Shutterwalk. And when you play Shutterwalk, every single battle cry from other cards that you have played, including like hero cards, but I'm not gonna show you a hero card. There's some really good battle cries is what I'm gonna basically say here. There's also some really bad ones, but most of them are pretty great. Uh, and then he will go through 20 is the maximum. 
and then he his animation will be done and then usually you just end your turn etc for your opponent okay so you said it gets like whenever you do a battle cry even if it's he's in your deck he is like noting these yeah. battle cries you don't yeah, have to have him in your have hand in or hand. anything no okay. no he just gets it yeah i love this card five out of five are you like I, it seems like the literal perfect top deck i mean to the to end the game right i mean unless you're like battle <laughs> like you played a battle cry that's like does damage to yourself or something which i maybe exists i don't know but shutter walk seems like a five out of five to me you are entirely correct. This card is one of the best cards Hearthstone's ever printed. Okay, uh, all right, so, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, so you're like, this is the type of card that people absolutely despise because usually when this card is played, the game is over. And I guess it gets the saving of magic. The card you lose to is the card that you hate the most. This card yep. haunts people's dreams. Yeah. Uh, it's also like, like you said, it's a very ugly looking card. So mm -hmm. yeah, it kind of scars you for life. It also has a really good voice line when you play it. Uh, really, really good analysis. Yeah, five out of five. You said easy, it, easy. yeah. You said it has a, a good uh, sound bite when it comes in. Yeah, hold on. If you want to hear it, I'll give it to you. I was gonna side. ask you to do it yourself. <laughs> oh, I d <laughs> God, I don't know if I can do. No, I can't embarrass myself like this. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. I will, I will give it to you though, just so you can Damn. hear it. I okay. Okay. Oh, I just play. My claws that bite. My claws that catch. Jesus, fuck. I didn't know he was going to speak to me. I thought he was just going to make some fucking Murloc no, noise. <laughs> oh, my God. No, he speaks to you. The best part about this card, too, is uh, the, the decks that it was played in, it could bounce back to your hand. Okay. And those, that's a battle cry. So basically what would happen is you would play Shutterwalk. It would bounce itself into its hand, and you basically have an infinite combo of Shutterwalks that you just keep playing over and over again. People hate this card. Like, I can't tell you how much people hate this card. And when this card first came out, uh, when this card is played, it is gonna do every single animation for every battle cry you have played. So if you played this card, your your turn would take like five minutes every single time. If this card's played, you're probably taking a quick nap or something. That makes sense. Yeah, we had yeah we had an animation like that that they actually had to time down because it took so long and people were getting so frustrated. The uh, un undead animation, we're not undead. Decay, decay in Crimson yeah, Bell. they did the same thing with Shutterwalk where like they they made it a lot faster because people were just losing their minds over this card. Uh, probably top three most hated cards of all time. I would probably have to guess. This is your first spell. So spells don't have uh, stats, obviously, except for mana cost. And again, these are all instant unless it is a very specific spell. But for this case, it is an instant spell. Uh, OK, defile two mana, deal one damage to all minions. If any die, cast this again. Oh, that's great. Do you get, does that stack? <laughs> what do you mean by stack? Like, let's say I cast a file, a, a, a minion dies, I get to cast it again, I do it again, another minion dies, it keeps going? Yes, yeah, it will go until it doesn't kill a minion anymore. Yeah, five out of five. See, perfect, honestly perfect. Yeah, this card yeah. is uh really, really good. Uh -huh. uh, the benefit, the benefit, yeah. <laughs> The benefit yeah. <laughs> of this card is that uh, compared to other board clears, it is two mana, which I haven't showed you any other board clears, but this card for two mana is absolutely disgusting. It is one of the best cards Hearthstone's ever printed. It's not even a legendary. So you get a two of these in your deck. So he's uh, up there with Shabberwocky or whatever his name yes, is. Shutterwalk. Exactly. Okay, awesome. You're killing it so far. This is great. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're, <laughs> I, 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 it's It's going to be great when people see that at the start and then they slowly transition to really, really good analysis. <laughs> <laughs> this person has no idea what she's talking about. Exactly. No, it's just because if you showed like any person of Harson who's played what patches was in the game, they would tell you that card is absolutely broken. But it's okay. hilarious that you tell me it's bad. OK, so I, you have five more cards left. These ones are a little bit harder to do. I've okay. kind of done this in a little bit of an order. So it's uh, it gets more and more obscure as we go on. Uh, but here you go. Uh, Bone Mare. It is a seven mana five five with ETB. Give a friendly minion plus four plus four and taunt, and it is an undead beast. Uh, is so can I guess what taunt is? Sure, go for it. Is taunt like this card has to be blocked this turn? In Hearthstone, because you can't interact on your opponent's turn, um, you can't block. Your opponent gets to make all of the attacking decisions. Now, if a minion has taunt, they have to go through the taunt minion before they can do anything else. When you told me that you couldn't interact on your opponent's turn, I thought that you meant like you couldn't cast like an instant or short. I can't do anything. I just have to like these just minions are, are attacking yeah. me. I can't block them. You just watch. Yeah, you're just you're just watch. You're just, well, I just watch why it happens to me. I can't. <laughs> I have no say. No, you have no say. What and that's what 
that's why Hearthstone is a very interesting game and can be very frustrating because sometimes your opponent's turn is absolutely disgusting. And oh you my just, God. just watch it. Yes, yes. That Thanks. changes my whole thinking. On, well, that the kind of now. Oh my God. Okay, so. Okay. So. All right. So give a friendly minion taunt. So I'm playing this on my turn. I give my I give my minion taunt. I go to attack you or the hero. Right. And then they have to block with their minions. So, okay. When, so let's say you gave a minion taunt and it is now my turn, yes. right? Okay. So if I'm attacking your minion with taunt until that minion with taunt dies, I can't attack anything else. There's no blocking on your part. Like you're just, you're hoping your opponent does not have an answer to your taunt. But you gave it plus four. Minute. You give my I gave my friendly minion plus four plus four. Like that's got to be like you have to at minimum like probably a five. I don't know. Like I don't know how big minions are. I guess so, like that thing's huge. How are you supposed to get past it? At that point, you would hope at least if I'm trying to win the game that I would have minions on board that could deal with it, or I would have a spell that could answer your taunt minion. Well, this card seems it's seven. This card seems really good. I'm gonna I I assume <laughs> like if I'm understanding correctly, I give it like a four point five. I think that's pretty accurate, to be I honest. Think... So this card in current Hearthstone probably wouldn't see a ton of play just because the game has just been power crept a little bit. But during its time when it was actually in standard, this card was probably a 4.5. Like this card was game winning. The one thing you're not even considering, by the way, is you could give a minion when you're when you're attacking, you can give a minion plus four plus four. And it's like giving like a, just a buff that you could hit anywhere at that point. Right. So this card was really, really good for tempo and just stopping your opponent from killing you. And you got a five five on top of it. OK. Here is a really interesting one for you. Tarantis, uh, 10 mana, 12, 12, can't be targeted by spells or heroes' powers. Every class has a hero power. Some, like, some of them are just like, deal one damage to anything for two mana. All hero powers are two mana except for one class, but again, not really relevant for this. If you use them over a bunch of a game, it couldn't really matter. But for this individual card, the hero powers are kind of irrelevant. Yeah, this is this is a this is a 10 mana, 12, 12 with hexproof. Yes. And again, you said when I attack, like they don't get to block. So I just get to, and you start with 30 life. Yeah, I'd like, I mean, it's <laughs> expensive. It like, it's off. You obviously, if you're going to play this, you're just going to play one in the deck. Like you're not going to go past one. Um, I don't know what the rest of your deck looks like, but like, if you need like a, like a top end, like this scene, like a 10, I keep calling it 10, 10, a 10 minute, 12, 12 with hex proof. And in Hearthstone, you can't block, like seems good to me. I'm going to give it like a 4.5. Okay. So I'm going to do arena first. I, I yes. would again no I'm not a huge arena player but I okay. would assume a 10 minute 12 12 with hexproof or like can't be targeted by spells is probably pretty great mm -hmm. for the most part because it trades probably two for one if not just kill your opponent right because if they can't answer they just probably lose the game now mm -hmm. I think even probably now this card might be a little weak because in standard this card was awful uh one of the worst cards because you never want to pay 10 mana to do like just 12 12 in stats there's so many yeah. better things you could do now, again, in Arena, I, I people will probably let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, if this card is ending up bad. But I would imagine it's probably like a three out of five. Okay, I, I can see that. I, I, I completely, like, I don't play standard, but I do know, like, if cards are not fast enough, they will not get played. Like, I know for a fact, like, I don't even know Hearthstone. I don't even know Magic Standard, but there's no way a 10 mana 12, 12, unless they can cheat it out, which there yes. are ways to do that, then it's yeah. it's not going to be anything. Uh, I probably, again, there are going to be cases where this card just straight up when you do the game, because if your opponent can't deal with it, they just lose. But there are probably better cards for this. So I'm going to go on the safe side and say a three. I would never think it would be like a five in Arena. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Tar Creeper, three mana, one five. It has taunt and has plus two attack during your opponent's turn. So on my opponent's turn, this is a three five with taunt. So to get to me, they have to get through this three five Yes. elemental booger looking thing I, I it seems it seems very middle of the road it seems fine like uh, i'm gonna give it like a three i guess like i can probably find better i feel like for my deck it's a three minute three five which is great and they it does seem like it has like a big enough i always like look at it like who has the big butts in limited because they can block. <laughs> it all depends on like the set and everything. Like a, a fat ass will get you a long way, you know? So I, like- uh, Makes uh, sense. I, I, I think I'm gonna go with like a 3.5 actually. You know what? That's probably really, really good. 3.5 okay. in arena in standard is probably what it would be. Uh, this card was actually really playable in standard. Um, it was one okay. of the best cards of the set. In arena, it was probably the turbo nuts. Like it, this card is just good. 
now maybe I should have mentioned this as well, but I believe it's the same thing for magic. Like you don't gain health. Your minions don't go back up to full health at the start of your next turn, right? In magic, they just stay at the health that they're at. Did I, make, did I speak English? What do you mean? Here? My creature, it's in, toughness? In Hearthstone, like let's say like you do two damage to Tar Creeper. Yeah. It'd be a it would be a three three or it'd be a three three on your opponent's turn. Uh it would never go back up to five health unless you heal it. I believe it's the same what? thing in Magic This damage stays on the creature, so this will forever have damage on it? Yes, unless you heal it. Unless you heal it with what? <laughs> like, I, well, cards that heal, I guess. <laughs> so. No, you get all the damage stays and damage is gone. Every, it resets. Unless it's like a negative, negative one counter. Counters are like permits. <laughs> no, everything resets back to full. Yeah, so in Hearthstone, in it's magic. not. It, it's, in Hearthstone, it's, it's not permanent. Unless the card specifically says that. It's, uh, yeah, it's crazy that I think they, they do that. Like, basically, Hearthstone wanted to take magic and just make it a lot easier to just understand from a glance because mm -hmm. in magic there's so much nuance to it right like it, just from oh. you talking i'm like oh my god uh, yeah where at house it's like oh i do my turn and then it's it's then it's your turn and i can do something <laughs> else in between it's it's very casual it's very nice it's it's sound it honestly sounds kind of nice like no counter spells like i don't have to do like combat mat every day like i can just see that the damage is like stuck on there and the things that i do matters because yeah. like because yeah, because that's wild. Because in magic, it's such a blowout. If like, let's say they swing at you with like a four four or something, and you block with like a three three and a three three, and they pump it to be a seven seven, like that damage in Hearthstone, it would go down to like a seven one. But on my turn, it would just reset back to what it was oh with no gosh. damage on it. That sounds awful. That yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, here is okay. another one. Oh God. Uh, Gahun? Gahun? I, the I blood? Wanna, I want to say goon, but goon? Gahun probably... Yeah, I think it's... <laughs> yeah, I think okay, it's, I, I I'll think take it's your goon. word for it. Okay, goon the blood... Yeah, that's an intimidating ass name. Me, goon the blood god. An eight mana, eight, eight, ETB, draw two cards. They cost health instead of mana. So is the crystal... Like, let's say I draw two, two thing. They're two health. No, so, um, yeah, so the mana cost is the equivalent of how much health you would have to pay. So if you draw like two five mana spells, both of those, both those uh, spells would be five health. And you have to have five health in order to play them, obviously, otherwise your hero would die. Uh, and they stay at that, that cost for the rest of the game until you play them. <gasps> no way. They stay that way. Can I, yes. I can't, and I can't choose to pay with mana crystals. No, once you draw them with your, with goon, you can't. I give this card, a, I give this card a five out of five. It's really? A, it's a, I think so. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. It comes in. I get to draw two cards. And in, let's say I run out of mana crystals to turn. I can just pay health. Like, I don't know what my health would be at, I guess, at turn 8 at, when I'm at 30 life. But, I mean, magic goes pretty long in some sets. So, I get this card. I think, like, now your, well, your reaction makes me want to go, like, a 4.5 <laughs> out of 5. So, now I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be honest, in okay. Arena, I couldn't give you an analysis on this card because I've never seen it in Arena. I personally haven't seen it in Arena. Oh no, in does that standard, mean nobody plays it in Arena? I would, <laughs> I would assume that it's not great, and I'm going to give you the standard analogy for this. In standard, the biggest problem with this card is that 8 mana, drawing an 8 mana 8-8 eight, eight for two cards that potentially makes you even lower health is not great for you. I would imagine in Arena, it's probably even worse because you don't get to pick the spells in your deck. Like you don't want to play again. Like I said, battle cards are a big deal and you want to impact the board pretty immediately. So if you're in a safe life total, oh my God, five out of five, easy. Yeah. But in, in arena, that may not be the case, right? Okay. And it generally would mean that this card just gets significantly weaker because you're just putting yourself up for lethal at that point. Oh, uh, that's it's because his name is Goon and that's he's good. not intimidating. <laughs> and that's, oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm so curious. Oh man, okay. Uh, okay, so here's your final card. Okay. Um, this card just came out, this expansion, uh, like about a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> Tony. <King> Tony. <laughs> this is fucking Tony. His name is Tony, the king of it's piracy. <laughs> uh, he's a five mana, four, six pirate. Both players' decks are swapped. Finale draw card. What is finale? So finale is if this card. So let's say you're on five mana and you spend all five mana, all re five remaining mana on this card, it would proc the finale. So finale is if this card uses all the rest of your mana that turn. So this card, the way it works is you put this card. This card's an aura. So you put this card on the board. Your opponents in your deck are now swapped. So I would draw from my opponent's deck and they would draw from mine until this card dies. And if you get the finale, I also draw a card from my opponent's deck. Okay. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> 
Does that make sense? I think it makes yes, sense. It, right? it, makes, okay. it makes sense. So I'm looking. So Tony. So I, I already mentioned earlier, I'm a sucker for a game within games. Like I love like weird shit like this, like grab bags, like Atris is a card that you play at Magic where when I play it, my opponent looks at the top three cards of my decks, puts them in two different piles. One is face up, one is face down, and I get to choose which pile I want. I don't know what's in the face down. I get to Ooh. see obviously the face up. Like maybe I maybe they trick me with two lands face down. You never know. So I'm a sucker with a game within games. I think I'm putting Tony in my deck if my like if i my deck sucks like i just didn't build a good deck it's not if i built a really good deck i don't think i would want tony there i don't think tony's welcome in my deck if like my deck is really good <laughs> it sounds like i i i give it like a situational three i guess okay okay like if like so when you when you build a deck in arena do you have to play the cards that you draw how what, how do you draft card how do you get the cards for limited <laughs> So arena is um, basically discover, but like before the game even starts. So it shows you three cards and then you pick one of those cards and you do that 30 times. Do you have to play the every card you pick? You don't have to play all of them, but they are in your deck. So you, those like the cards you pick are the cards that will be in the game. OK, so you can't like take them out of the deck to like thin your deck to get to your better cards. Like if you no, pick a, no, a no. crappy card, like you, the crappy card is in the deck no matter what. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give Tony. <laughs> A 10 out of 10 for the name. Uh, and then I'm going to give it like a, I, it's a four, it's a five minute four, six, but like, I guess it's a situational three for me. Like if okay. my deck sucks, Tony can come in. Like if, if I'm <laughs> drafting and like I get Tony on, like my deck is awful. I guess I'm getting Tony and I'm playing him. So I would say in arena, Tony's probably awful. I don't know I, okay, why you'd yeah, want to pick. I would no, think so, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why you would want to draft Tony into your deck. <laughs> If your deck uh, this, sucks, that's why I'm, that's the only time I want him in there. Fair, fair enough. But even then, I think it's pretty bad. Uh, because the, the general problem with this card in Arena is, um, you would want a combo with it, and you don't really get to set up combos in Arena unless you get very lucky. Mm -hmm. In Standard, this card could be set up to actually just absolutely destroy your opponent's life. How? So there are there's a card called the Jailer, which would destroy uh, it. The, the text of the card literally says battle cry. Your minions are immune. Destroy your deck. So you could play the Jailer into Tony and swap your deck. And then your opponent no longer has a deck anymore. And it is a really good combo to do because then your opponent has no resources and they only have what's in their hand. In arena, you can't do that. So this is a five out of four no. six and a five out of four six ain't doing anything. No, if it's you, not. Yeah. So if you Unless your deck sucks and then Tony <laughs> can come in the deck. But otherwise, Tony's not coming anywhere near my deck or me. Maybe if you proc the finale, it might be worth it because I guess you could go like five out of four six draw a card, which might be fine. But there's probably just way better stuff to do in a real. Probably, probably. I would yeah. assume. I would assume so. But yeah, that's uh, that's all the cards I had for you. That uh, okay? How did I do? How did I do overall? I think overall, uh, how, what I gave you twelve cards. I think you yeah. had like ten, ten or nine, ten or nine. So overall, pretty great. I'd have to go Apo double check. Well, apologies well, to patches or what is its name? <laughs> patches patches yeah, the yeah, pirate. Right. I'm so sorry. You're very good. <laughs> even though you, I mean, we have tokens in magic that are you know for free so it's fine maybe i'm maybe i'm just maybe i'm just salty because i got him wrong off the bat and you know i have no, a lot is, of i had a, a lot of wounds from that so you set the you set the expectations low and then you blew it out of the water that's what matters under right? promise over deliver that's exactly. the way i do it <laughs> exactly exactly